The Photos app is full of features that are quite useful, but not super obvious. Let's learn them all. Once you understand how powerful search is in Photos, you're going to use it all the time. There's two main things to know. The first is you can search for a ton of different categories. For example, I can search by month, year. I can even type one year ago and it will pull up all pictures I took about a year ago. You can search for objects that are within the photo. Like if I type tree, all pictures and videos I have with a tree in it will pop up or I can type sunset, sushi. I even typed baklava and it found a picture I took of baklava. So it's pretty specific and super handy when you know what is in the photo. You can also search by place. So for example, my family went to Griffith Park and I can type that to pull up all pictures and videos we took there. You can search by person or pet as long as you've assigned them a name and you can even search by event so if I type in concert for example all photos and videos at a concert will be brought up immediately. Lastly if you know there is text in the photo or video you're looking for you can type that specifically and our phone will pull that up as well. The second thing to know is you can actually add multiple filters in the search bar so for example I'll type the year and I can also add something like the type of media I want so here it would be all the slow-mo videos I took last Last year with my cat in them. Definitely use this whenever you need to find a photo very quickly. There's also one more feature that involves our phone identifying what is in a photo and that is visual lookup. For example, I found this picture of food. It looks delicious, but I don't know what it is. Luckily, this little sparkle overlaying the information icon means our phone has detected something it can give us more information on. I'll go ahead and tap it and at the top we see we can look up the food. Doing so pulls up similar images online and can even pull up recipes straight from the internet. And this visual lookup works with a ton of other categories. You can decipher those laundry care hieroglyphics they put on our clothes tags and automobile symbols that light up on our dashboard when the good old clunker ain't running like it used to. It also identifies animals, plants, landmarks, books, and art pieces. It also works for video. Just pause it where the object of interest is in frame and hit the info button. If you took a lot of photos in the same location and want to edit them, the fastest way you can do that is to make an adjustment on only one of them and then tap the three dots, hit copy edits, and then go back and select all of the photos you took in that location. Hit the three dots again and hit paste edits. This will apply the same adjustments to all photos, giving them a very consistent look. Oh, and speaking of editing, while most people do realize you can automatically edit a photo by hitting edit and then tapping the magic wand at the bottom, what they don't realize is you can also have it intelligently and automatically crop the photo by going to crop and hitting auto at the top. This will even rotate the image so people are perfectly aligned. Next tip, you can adjust the focus of portraits and cinematic videos after they've been taken. This is one of my favorites. I'll bring up a portrait, hit edit, and make sure portrait is selected at the bottom. Anywhere I tap will automatically snap into focus. You can even change what's called the depth of field, which is basically the amount that is in focus by hitting the F stop button at the top and turning the dial either up to put more things in focus or down to put less things in focus. Turning this down will give a lot of blur, which gives the photo a very cinematic and professional look, though sometimes it can be a little over the top. Now let's learn how to adjust the focus in a cinematic video. This is even more impressive because you can change what's in focus at any point within the video. I'll tap edit. Make sure the video menu is selected and you'll see here at the bottom a timeline of different focus points within the video represented by dots. The white dots will indicate where the camera app automatically changed focus and the yellow dots indicate where the focus was manually changed by whoever was recording. And changing focus is super simple. Just go to the point where you want to change the focus and tap what you want to be in focus. That area will snap into place and a new dot will be created along the timeline and your phone will do its best to keep this area in focus up until the next dot. So let me show you here again by tapping this new dot we just added. I'm going to delete it and pay attention to the bottom as I tap to adjust focus again and as you can see the rest of the timeline fills with yellow indicating this new focus point has been rendered. Now this does not work with regular videos at least not at the time of this recording so please keep that in mind when deciding whether to shoot in regular or cinematic video. If you didn't already know you can tap the very top of the screen to shoot all the way to the first photos you've taken and if you tap the bottom bar again it will jump all the way down to your most recent photos. Next tip there is a very fast way to crop photos 
photos. Just pull any photo up and simply pinch to zoom in. A crop button will pop up in the corner that you can hit to crop right away. Or you can even hold it down to set a specific aspect ratio. And after we hit crop, it'll adjust it accordingly. One really fast way to free up storage on your phone is to go to albums, scroll all the way to the bottom and hit duplicates. Tapping merge next to each will consolidate them, keeping the highest quality version. And since photos don't take up that much space, you can actually filter to just videos by tapping the three dots, hitting filter, and selecting videos. You can change the key photo of an album to make it much easier to find. All you have to do is go to the album, long press the photo, and select make key photo. I'll go back, and as we can see, that is much better. Let's hop on over to messages, because the fastest way to send a photo is actually by long pressing the plus button. Button. Your most recent photos will pop up immediately, but if you swipe up a little bit, you'll actually be able to search for people, places, and things just like the first tip. You can navigate to specific albums from here as well. Alright, these last two tips are a little bit spicy. Let's learn how to really hide photos. If you go to the photo section in settings, you can actually hide the hidden photos album from the app by toggling off show hidden album. I'm going to leave it on for a second and we'll see if I go over to photos that there is a hidden album at the bottom of the albums menu and if I go back to turn this off now we'll go back to photos we see it is now gone. The hidden album and all of its content still exist, but it's just not going to be in the Photos app. The only way we'll be able to access it is if we go back to this setting and toggle this on again. All right, the last tip. You know how all photos and videos are listed in chronological order? Well, you actually can't change this, but what you can do is change the time the photo was taken, and this will change where it is located in the library. For example, let's go up a little bit to go back in time. I'm gonna pick a random photo, and now I'll hit the Info button. If I tap adjust next to the time and date it was taken, I'll be able to set the date to I'm going to do one month in the future and then hit adjust. And now if I go to the very bottom, that's where it will be. This can be useful if you want to send a photo to somebody and they plan on saving it and it won't be somewhere random. This will ensure that it is actually at the very bottom of their photos app. Or if you want to be creepy, you can hide photos this way as well. Up to you. And that's it. I'd love to know which ones were your favorite. And if you knew them all, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll give you a high five. Peace.